As my Italian grandmother used to say, if the feet are sore, you can tell it from the face. Hi, my name is Andrea Coda. I'm a podiatrist and an academic working at the University of Newcastle. This short video aims to explain how podiatrists can help you prevent complications that can impact your quality of life, your physical activity, and how we can keep you pain-free. So what do we do? Now, what is podiatry? Essentially, podiatry are specialists of the lower limbs. We are a registered medical profession trained to assess, diagnose, treat, and evaluate abnormalities and pathologies related to the foot and the lower limbs in people of all ages. For example, I personally love kids. And as part of my career, I decided to specialize in a branch of podiatry that focuses on pediatrics and the complex and fascinating process on how we learn how to walk, run and grow into healthy young adults. We also learn how to treat sports related injuries and uh, we pay particularly uh, attention to those members uh, of the community that are at high risk of falling and those people with diabetes. Some of them cannot feel their feet properly due to nerve damages and unfortunately have an increased risk of amputations. Now, what is biomechanics? Now, over the past two decades, podiatry has seen an amazing advancement in a technology that we can easily introduce into our daily practice to help diagnose different pathologies and provide early and effective treatment option to our patients. Innovation also helps our patient to easily understand what is the problem whilst using fancy graphics and 3D images with the hope that they can become more compliant to our treatment plan. Biomechanics is a very exciting branch of podiatry that studies movements of the lower limbs, particularly our hips, knees, and feet. It includes how muscle, bones, tendon, and ligaments magically work together to produce motion, such as walking, running, and jumping. Nowadays, we can use fancy high-resolution sensor and 3D technologies to study people's joint and biomechanics. Sometimes patient presents at our clinics with pain at the ankle or the knees, which are due to potential misalignments of their joint. A good podiatrist uh, will be able to carefully analyze and study your biomechanics and understand if there is a deficit that needs to be addressed. If yes, some option may include specific physical therapies, strengthening or stretching programs, and perhaps even the prescription of devices inside your shoes. We typically call it orthosis. Most recently, orthosis can be made by scanning the feet and by using 3D printing or other specialized computerized milling machine, which is pretty cool and quite fascinating. But I just spend a lot of time looking and analyzing how people walk. We simply can't help it. We do it constantly at the beach, at the supermarket, basically everywhere. All right, so now let's talk about neurology. So what is a neurological assessment? Let's try to imagine when you are at the beach and if suddenly you cannot feel the sand in between your toes, or when you wake up in the morning and you put your socks on and you cannot feel your feet. It feels pretty impossible, isn't it? And quite scary. But you would be surprised how many people in Australia and around the world are not able to distinguish hot and cold temperature or pressure uh, or even sharp object against the plantar aspect of the foot. This loss of sensation is called neuropathy. Neuropathy may lead to permanent loss of sensation, weird tingling or burning feelings. It also presents with muscle weaknesses or wasting and can lead to ulcerations and skin damages that can seriously impact the ability to walk properly. This is why it's really important to visit a podiatrist regularly so we can conduct a thorough neurological examination, pick up any possible deficiencies as early as possible, but most of all, provide you with simple but effective education in how you can keep your feet healthy. Okay, so let's now talk about vascular and what is a vascular assessment. Podiatrists play a key role in the early detection of different vascular related pathologies in the lower limbs, a good podiatrist is able to assess how well the blood flows all the way down to your feet and toes. This is particularly helpful to know, so in case of any foot injuries or to help our patients from developing ulcerations. So you might be wondering, so Andrea, who should have a vascular assessment done? 
Well, typically we recommend that if you are over 65 years of age, current or previous smoker, if you have diabetes or suffer from hypertension, have hyperlipidemia or other sort of cardiovascular diseases. Okay, so in conclusion, there is so much more than a, a podiatrist can help you with, including minor surgeries and treat different dermatological and skin problems with the overall aim to maintain a good health to the lower limbs. You can find a podiatrist in public and private hospital or clinics, and your GP may also help you to obtain a referral in case you need a baseline podiatric assessment or just a general checkup like you would normally do at the dentist. Hope you enjoyed the short video. Thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And until next time, ciao e grazie.